covering Lord Sullen's xylophone certainly sounds like a charming ruckus. Don't get me wrong, but I'm looking for a quest to be remembered by. One final adventure for future generations to share. Surely, my dear friend, you can relate to that. Oh, hello, Gwendolyn. Come on in. Um, where did your friend go? Why, he's right behind you, keeping warm by the fire. There's no one there. Not to worry. He'll be back. Always bouncing in and out, that one. Like a slingshot. Grandpa, we need to talk. Of course, sweetheart. What'll it be? Dragons, treasure, love stories. We need to talk about this. I see. Come here. I am so sorry. I should have told you when I had the chance. I'm just not ready for you to go. Listen to me. I am not leaving you. Not yet. The mirror promised me one final adventure. But the doctors, they said... Has the magic mirror led us astray before? I'll be here for one more adventure, no matter what any doctor says. So... Where's this adventure taking place? I haven't decided yet, but it's going to be grand. One for the tapestries of time. I was thinking, Serenia, or a family trip back to Avalon. Grandpa, you can't even get out of bed. Oh, I can get out of bed all right, just saving up my strength. I need to know why. Why? I thought it would be nice to have an adventure outside these walls with the whole family. No, not that. I need to know why the doctors can't fix you. There has to be a magical fruit that can cure you, or a spell to extend your life. I just can't believe that you're only suffering from old age. Take a seat. There are a few more stories I have yet to share. For as long as I can remember, adventure always had a way of finding me. But as I grew older, I had to find adventure for myself. Sweetheart, are you sure you need to go out questing for trouble at our ripe old age? Darling, this old hat may be tattered, but it's not ready to be hung up yet. I know. I know, as long as you're living, you'll be working to make Daventry perfect. But what's the point of working so hard if we never can enjoy it? We still haven't watched a single sunset from the Rose Garden. But there's still so much to do, love. I need to stay sharp. I just don't want my legacy to fizzle out like King Edward's. Do what you like. I know I won't be able to convince you otherwise. I probably should have stayed back and watched that sunset, but I had adventure on my mind. Perhaps there was another lost treasure to recover, or a unicorn to be rescued. Oh, if I was lucky, a hideous beast would be terrorizing the kingdom. It seems like only yesterday you taught my arrow to fly. The town was always a good place to start an adventure. 
Perhaps I should start there. Wait, aren't you forgetting... Huh? What was that? Oh, never mind. Sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. Amaya and I cleared out all the spiniferous thorn weeds of the backwoods and planted a lovely rose garden instead. Wait, what happened to the snarling snarlaxes? With purple eyes, blue glowing pupils, six legs, three claws, and one tooth. <laughs> they had to be crumbled. Ruin the castle's curb appeal. Bell brought me right back to my younger days as a squire. Hold on, Grandpa. Yes, sweetheart? It wasn't a bell. Oh? And uh, what was it? A horn. Remember? Oh, that's right. Get my momentary lapse of memory. Patch of fire impeded my path forward. A mere brain teaser to get my logic wheels spinning. As long as he knows the password, we have to let him in. He needs to work on his time management skills. He is a weak link. After Alexander returned, we sealed up the goblin holes. Now, now, Pilar, I don't know if I'd say it like that. He'd better come soon. I'm getting tired of opening that door for him. Years ago, if my memory serves me correctly, we redesigned that old meeting space into a, a memorial honoring Pilar and Mr. Watts. Pilar transferred to Ludor in the summer of 1679. And she was annoyed to find out there was, in fact, no bridge troll guild in existence there. Hungry and poor, she discovered a new cause to rally behind. She founded the first charity whose mission was to feed the trolls. Waddles retired when I took the throne. He stayed local, though, and created most of the art and tapestries that you see on the castle walls. He finally became the drawbridge that he always dreamed of. Am I remembering this right? We redesigned the space into a, a sandbox that all the children of Daventry could enjoy. Hey, how come I never got to play in that sandbox? Your father was always paranoid about badgers doing their business in there and would never let me take you. Ah! A randomly placed item to add to my inventory. My adventure was already off to a great start. We redesigned the space into 
a commemorative fountain honoring every guard who ever served the kingdom of Daventry. Ah, oh, life-giving water, nectar of the gods. Talking bridge! Um... What? Oh, hold on a second. You may be right. Olfi was uh, a bridge with a troll on his back, right? Oh, sorry. I mean a troll with a bridge on his back. Correct. How did your back catch on fire? Oh, I'm not sure. Olfi was taking a nap and then became very itchy. Probably just another heat rash. A cool bath with two cups of oatmeal should clear that up. It's wonders for me. Yeah? Your skin does look fantastic for 86. Well, that's a shame. 77. Oh! My apologies, King. At 386, Olfi's memory isn't what it used to be. I know. You told me that yesterday. Oh, I did, didn't I? <laughs> Can you believe how old we've grown? It seems like only yesterday we were dancing the dance of the official bridge troll guild. <laughs> and all the paths through Daventry were wide open. I just hope I chose the right direction. Because my journey has become a bit of a straight line lately. Oh, I hope that's not why you squeezed into your adventuring gear. It's been Olfi's pleasure to watch your little bridge take root and blossom into King Graham the Wise. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Well, if you enjoyed my earlier accomplishments, Wait until you see the greatness my next adventure will bring. I couldn't wait to get into town. The square was probably full of people in need of an adventurer. Someone to fetch treasures or forage rare ingredients. On that day, I would have taken any quests offered. One slight problem, I couldn't remember which way the town was. 